welcome back it's your girl katie here and today's video i'm going to be doing an empties video so i have my basket here just full of empty products i haven't done one of these in a while so i would say this is probably six months worth of stuff here um it does take me a while to go through stuff so that's why i, I kind of do it within like a six months period maybe longer than that it, it has been a while since i've done one of these videos but anyways so i'm just going to be going through randomly just pull a product out and tell you guys my thoughts and opinions on them and whether or not i would repurchase it so to no further ado let's just go ahead and jump right on into this video all right so like i said i'm just going to randomly pull a product out and then talk about it all right so first up we have these um dry and wet dual action facial cleansing wipes I got these in a BoxyCharm box, um, I think the brand name is Base Blue, I think is the brand name, not really sure, but anyway, so it had two sides here, this is the day side, and then here's the night side, and it had, uh, how many did it have in it, I think it had like, it says 10 a piece, so there's 10 day ones and 10 night ones, and the day ones was basically like your cleansing wipes, like you would get it, it was dry, and you would run it under the water and it would kind of get a little foamy, kind of soapy feeling and you would just use it to wash your face. And then the night ones were actual like makeup remover wipes. So I would use the night ones to remove my makeup. And I didn't do the whole day and night. I actually would use the night ones to remove my makeup and then the day ones to clean my face afterwards. That's just how I used it. And I actually did really like these. I'm not really for sure what the retail value of these were, but I would definitely, if I found these at a decent price or maybe on sale or something, I would definitely pick these up again because I actually really enjoyed them. So, yes, I would repurchase that. All right. Then we have this Rose Quartz. Um, I don't know what the brand name is. Where's the brand? It doesn't really say. Anyways, this Rose Quartz hair mask. And I used this up. I do remember the smell of this was fantastic. I loved how this smelled on my hair. As for the actual mask itself, um, I think I remember it being nice. And I liked how it made my hair feel. But I don't really think it did much for my hair, honestly. Like, it just felt like a conditioner. Honestly, I would just keep it how I would use it. I would get in the shower. I would do my shampooing and everything. And then I would apply this. And it just kind of do like my shaving routine in the shower and let this kind of sit in my hair the whole time. And then I would rinse it out. I don't remember it doing anything bad to my hair, but I wouldn't really say that it made like, I don't know. I don't feel like it made a really big difference in my hair. Um, it, but I did really like how it smelled. And I don't think I would repurchase this, even though I loved how my hair smelled. Um, I don't think I would repurchase it just because I really didn't see much of a difference. Alright, we have some makeup wipes here. I use makeup wipes a lot. Um, I just find them more convenient. Anyway, this is the Pink Panier Facial Cleansing Makeup Wipes. This is by Beauty Concept. I think I, yeah, I, I bought these from TJ Maxx for like $4. I remember these not being bad. I don't think I had any problems with these. Um, they remove the makeup really well. Of course, I always wash my face after using makeup remover wipes. I don't ever rely on them to clean my face. Um, I've not found one that like cleans really well afterwards. I always feel like makeup wipes always kind of have leave that residue on your face, and I think this these kind of did as well. But as for like removing the makeup, it did a really good job. So I would definitely pick these back up if I if I found them again. All right. Then we have something here from PTH, I think is the brand name. Um, this is the mint conditioner. It's a tingling scalp conditioner. It has like this nice like little um, applicator. So you just like run it through your hair and then like squeeze the bottle and apply it. Uh, I did really like this and I would pick this up again. It did make your my scalp tingle. Um, it was supposed to like help with your like scalp, like if you had dry scalp. Um, I think it did help a little bit. Um, and I, I don't know, I would definitely pick this back up. I liked it. I don't really know if it did a whole lot for my scalp, but I did like how, I don't know, I like the tingling on the scalp and, you know, it did feel like very cooling and stuff like that. So yeah, I would for sure pick this back up. All 
And we have something here from First Aid Beauty. This is their Ultra Repair Cream. It's a it's intense hydration for dry parched skin. I use this on my hands. I didn't use it on my face because I feel like it was. I don't know if it's supposed to be on your face. It says you can use it anywhere from head to toe. Um, I use this only on my hands because the consistency of it felt more like a hand cream to me than like a facial cream. I felt like it was too heavy for my face. I feel like it would have probably kind of clogged my pores up. So I did use it on my hands. And I did like how it felt on my hands. And I feel like it did help somewhat. Um, I didn't use it consistently enough to really see if it was like, oh yes, super soft hands. You know, I would just use them like basically it was in here in front of me. And when I was about to, to film or something, if my hands felt a little dry, I would just apply it on there and it felt good. Um, so yeah, I would definitely probably pick this up again if I found it for like a good deal. Um, but yeah, that's all I can really say about it. I didn't use it consistently enough to see if it really like did anything fantastic for my hands. It was just a good moisturizer. I have a deodorant here, Dove. I would not be repurchasing this again. I don't know, I'm trying to do... I'm trying to be more cautious about what I put on my body as well as in my body. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I've heard a lot of bad things about Dove recently, so I would not repurchase their, uh, their products. So no, I would not buy this again. I've found different alternatives when it comes to like deodorant um, that I like better. So not repurchasing that. All right, then we have something here from SJ Beauty Co. This is their shampoo, and it's got castor oil, and de and it's supposed to detox and cleanse your hair. I picked this up, I think, at Ross. Yeah, Ross. And I did really like this. It was a really big, like, bottle, and it lasted me a while. I want to say it lasted me at least, like, I want to say, like, at least three months. And that's pretty good, um, considering that me and my husband both use we use this, not that he really cares, he, he will use anything that's in there, but um, I didn't specifically say like, don't use this, this is me for me only, no, we both use this, and it lasts us about three months, and yeah, I would definitely pick this up again, I did really like it, and I felt like it did a really good job of cleansing my scalp and just my hair, I felt like my hair was less oily when I was using this, um, so yeah, I would definitely pick this back up again actually have a fragrance in here that I bought a really long time ago from Rue 21 and it was all that glitter and I did like this but it is like a cheapy perfume like it's not super cheap but like it's a you can definitely tell it's not the best quality because it did not the fragrance didn't last all day or anything it just lasted for maybe like an hour probably but I like the smell of it um I would probably pick it up again because I'm cheap and I only buy cheap perfume. So yeah, I would repurchase this. Although they probably don't even carry it anymore because Rue 21 like comes out with fragrances and then they sell them all and then that's it. Like they don't have them again. So yeah, probably can't find it again, but I would pick it up if I saw it again. All right, now we have something from Living Proof. This is another Restore Repair Leave-In Conditioner because I get a lot of conditioners, leave-in conditioners from Bossy Charm. That's why I've been trying out a lot, um, except for this one. This one I actually bought from, like, Walmart. But this one I got in the box, and I think I remember liking this one. It's been so long. Um, I can't really remember. I think I didn't have any problems with this because some of the ones I've been trying, um, sometimes I'll stop using them because I don't like how they make my hair feel. Like one I'm using, I used for a while, it was a serum, and I've kind of stopped because it kind of has that silicone-y feel to it, and I felt like it was making a lot of buildup on my hair, so I stopped using that one. But this one, I don't remember it doing that, and I think it, it did make my hair feel kind of soft and, yeah, easy to use. So I would pick it up if I found it again. Oh, I have a lotion in here. This is probably from, yep, Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works lotion. It's Hello Beautiful. It's a Shea and Vitamin E body lotion. Um, I think I remember it smelling really good. Yeah, it smells really good. Felt like it moisturized my skin, but honestly, I don't really buy from Bath and Body Works anymore. I think this was gifted to me probably a long time ago. Um, so I probably wouldn't pick it up again. It does smell nice, but... Yeah, I wouldn't pick it up again. 
I think I need to find a better. So I feel like Bath and Body Works lotions always feel really nice. Like they smell, feel good, but I don't really know what, how much they do for like actually hydrating your skin. Yeah. But it did smell good. Just didn't do much. All right, then we have, ew, a really nasty looking bottle. Uh, this is from Altree, is I think the brand name, or is it by you? I don't know. It, I got this, I think, in, was it FabFit or was it BoxyCharm? I can't remember. One of them, I got like an actual set, had a shampoo and a conditioner. I used it the shampoo first, I think. The other bottle's not in here, so I'm assuming I used up one of them earlier and probably reviewed it already, and then I just got around to the shampoo. Um, the shampoo was nice. I really did like it, and it did smell good. Um, I don't think I would repurchase this because it has, like, the CBD stuff in it. Yeah, it's the CBD in it. And I remember looking at the price tag, I think, when I got it. And I think for the set, it was like 40 bucks. And the bottle's really not that big. So it's $40 for both the shampoo and conditioner. And I just feel like that's a really big price tag for just a little bitty bottle. Because these bottles are not that big. And it didn't last me. I think maybe it lasted me a month. Maybe. And, yeah. I just wouldn't repurchase it. It did smell nice, and I did like how it washed my hair. But just not worth the price tag, in my opinion. So, would not repurchase. All right, guys, we're almost done. All right, so next up from um, oh, Odyssey. I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying that right. Something California. I don't know the brand name. There it is. If you want to try to pronounce that, because I'm terrible at pronouncing things. This is their Blue Aura Turmeric and Holy Basil Cleansing Water. It's in a nice glass bottle. Um... This was nice when I used it. it. I used it as like a, I used it like a micellar water, but I didn't use it like a all over the face micellar water. I usually, whenever I have like makeup like this on, um, I use a, a cleansing, I use a makeup wipe to remove my foundation and everything else and try to get most of the eyeshadow off. And then I usually use stuff like micellar water to really get the eye makeup off like sometimes to get the mascara and, and the eyeliner off I'll use like something like this and it worked really well for doing that um, and sometimes if I had like residue of like foundation that the makeup wipe didn't quite get I would use that to do it as well just kind of do like an overall like picking up any leftovers kind of thing and it, it I liked this it worked really well and it didn't really leave like a nasty film on my face like some micellar waters might, especially if it has oil or something in it, some of those do, but this one didn't. And so I can't remember how much this was. And if it was super expensive, I wouldn't pick it up again just because um, there's other micellar waters out there for a more affordable price that I would pick over this. But if it was a decent price tag, I would definitely pick this up because it, it lasted me a really long time. I want to say this lasted me like maybe six months. But then again, I don't wear makeup like every day, so I didn't have to use it every single day. It would probably be like a couple times a week. Um, so yeah, but I did like how it, it worked and it did remove my makeup really well. So if I found it on sale, I'd pick it up because I have a feeling that one probably has a hefty price tag on it. All right, Sunday Riley. This is their CEO cream, I guess. It just says CEO on it, so I'm assuming, yeah. That's what it's called. This is their Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. I remember using this all, like, it's a, it took me a while to use this. And I didn't mind when I was using it, but I really don't think it did, like, a whole lot for, like, hydration-wise. Um, I think it says on here somewhere that it was supposed to, like, brighten your face up or something like that. Um, yeah, brighten dull skin. And I do think it did brighten my skin up although I don't really know what it means like by brightening like my face just felt that it looked more brighter I guess but I don't know how to explain that because like I don't know like um sometimes I get like darker pigmentations like under my eyes and stuff like that and I do feel like this kind of brightened it up a little bit but like when it came to the actual hydration side I don't feel like it did really good hydrating me like, I still would get little um, dry areas sometimes, um, 
but maybe I should have upped the amount of usage on it. Like maybe I should have started using it twice a day because I think it does say use it morning and night. And I'm kind of more of a once a day kind of gal. Um, <laughs> so maybe that's not fair for me to say it didn't hydrate me if I didn't use it like it should, said it sh I should. But it didn't leave any... Um, gross feeling on my face like I've used one of their other creams and I feel like the other cream had residue kind of made you feel like you had residue on your face whereas this one I felt like my skin did absorb it pretty well and didn't leave any weird residue so maybe if I found it on sale I would pick it up again because I did like how it made my face just seem a bit more awake or brighter um, but yeah I just don't know if it's like a good hydrating cream if that makes any sense so maybe, I would maybe pick it up. All right, the rest of the products in here are makeup products, which are not very many. First up, I have something here from Trustique. This is their Good Vibes Mascara. And it actually had like this, like, eyelash curler thing on it that you could use. But I never use that because I don't usually ever curl my eyelashes. This mascara was okay. I don't think I would repurchase it just because I don't really think it was, I don't know. I'm cheap and this is probably not cheap and I am just kind of like a buy it mascara from the drugstore type of gal. Um, but the mascara was nice. It, it was very uh, lengthening, but I don't think it really did much for like volumizing. Um, but it wasn't a bad mascara. But it's just not, I just don't think that it was anything great so I wouldn't purchase I wouldn't repurchase it so next up I have two eyebrow pencils here the first one is from real her and this is their definer brow pencil it's in the shade I don't know it doesn't have a shade name so I'm assuming it's just like I think it was just in brunette or something like that I did like this one um I don't know much about the brand real her so I don't know what their price point is but to be completely honest um this eyebrow pencil was pretty good. I mean, it was great. It worked well. You know, it's really like one of those tiny, tiny pencils that I like to use. Um, I just find them easier to control and kind of like applicate better. Um, but I don't, like I said, I don't know much about this brand. So if this was like a drugstore price, then I would definitely pick this up again. But if it's any more than that, I probably just wouldn't because I think it's CoverGirl has an eyebrow pencil that's basically just the same as this one. Um... Yeah, so I would probably just choose the drugstore one over this one if this one is more than the drugstore price. Then I have the Hourglass one here. Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. And I didn't like this one as well. I mean, the formula, the formula of the product was fine. It's the actual applicator. It's kind of like this weird flat thing. And let me see if I can get it closer up. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like a flat tip to it. It's not bad, but it's just kind of like, what's the point of it being flat? It didn't make it any different to me. To apply it to my brows or anything, I just feel like it's kind of like just to give it that uniqueness, um, their way of making it unique. But other than that, other than the applicator, like the actual shape of the applicator or the way that it comes out, I don't really think that this product is any different than any other brow pencil that I've tried. Um, the formula is nice, but it's not different. I don't think it's any better than the drugstore ones that I've tried. But that's just my personal opinion. They're not, there's nothing wrong with these products. It's just the price tag on them. I would not repurchase these unless I find them just as cheap as the drugstore ones. All right, and then last but not least is this Kevin Aquan, the Expert Mascara. Yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this. I don't remember it being anything great. It's a nice mascara. I'm glad to have gotten it in a BoxyCharm box. Oh, and I remember this one has that curved wand. And I, that kind of did make it a little easier for the top, but not for the, I don't know, was it for the bottom? Maybe it did make it okay for the bottom. I think I didn't, I didn't mind the curve wand. I was thinking maybe I didn't like it, but I think I figured out how to use it and it was fine. So I like the interesting wand, but when it came to the actual mascara, I think I remember it lengthening and volumizing a bit but nothing like spectacular um and probably not for the price tag i would just buy the drugstore mascaras because they're just as good 
I was happy to have gotten to try it from getting it in the BoxyCharm box, but I would not repurchase it. Alrighty, and those are all my recent empty products. So there you go, guys. That is going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because that really does help with my channel. And also let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of the products that I've tried. And if you've tried any of them and what did you think of it when you tried it. Let me know down below because I love chatting with you guys down there. But other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!